For many decades, people conflated the hot Big Bang, describing the early universe with a singularity, that this Big Bang was the birth of space and time. However, in the early 1980s, a new theory called cosmic inflation came along, suggesting that before the hot Big Bang, universe behaved very differently, pushing any hypothetical singularity unobservable far back. Earlier this century, some very strong evidence arrived, showing that there was a universe before the Big Bang, demonstrating that the Big Bang wasn't truly the start of it all. Why is there something rather than nothing? How did everything begin? What was there before the beginning? Where did the material come from that created the Big Bang? What happened in the first instance to create that material? Why are we here? When it comes to understanding the universe, trust me, we've barely scratched the surface. These questions I asked here have been circulating in the realms of human curiosity for countless generations, transcending time and spanning cultures. We've been sending different telescopes like the James Webb and Hubble to explore the depths of the cosmos. These marvels of engineering have actually done a great job in unraveling some of the universe's secrets, possibly shedding light on a small fraction of its vastness. Day in and day out, we've diligently scanned the skies, capturing breathtaking images of distant galaxies, nebulae and celestial phenomena, expanding our knowledge of the cosmos with each observation. Through these telescopes, we've witnessed the birth and death of stars, marveled at the intricate dance of galaxies and cosmic collisions, and unraveled the mysteries of black holes. We've measured the redshift of distant galaxies, allowing us to peer back billions of years into the past, offering a glimpse of the universe in its infancy. But with all of these magnificent discoveries, we still have numerous unanswered questions everywhere. Why? When? How? Where? Can we ever answer these questions? Well, you have to keep watching to get to actually see what the actual part is until the end of this video. The last star will slowly cool and fade away, with its passing the universe will become once more a void, without light or life or meaning. This statement was mentioned by physicist Brian Cox in a BBC series, This Is How Everything Might End. Some other theories suggest that our very own Big Bang the genesis of our universe might have originated from a previous incarnation of emptiness, a cold, dark and empty universe, similar to the one awaiting us in the distant future. This is just the first theory. What about this theory, which suggests there is no first man or woman, no singular event that sparked the universe into existence? If you know the names of these theories, make sure you comment their names below. Let's continue to focus on this video. You see, the universe is very strange. We've got particles popping in and popping out of existence everywhere. There's something, and then pop, nothing. We've got dark matter, a mysterious substance that makes up a significant portion of the universe's mass, but remains invisible to our current methods of observation. It does not emit, absorb or reflect light, Yet its gravitational effects can be observed in galaxies and the large-scale structure of the universe. We've also got dark energy which seems to be expanding the universe with immense speed. Unlike gravity, which acts as an attractive force, dark energy seems to push galaxies apart, causing the fabric of space itself to stretch. This expansion occurs on such a grand scale that it surpasses the gravitational forces between galaxies, leading to an ever-widening cosmic expanse. And then we have the Big Bang, which tries to explain the origin and evolution of our universe. The universe as we know it began from an incredibly hot and dense state, approximately 13.8 billion years ago, suggesting that all matter, energy, space and time originated from a singularity, a point of infinite density and temperature, in an extraordinary event, the universe rapidly expanded and continues to expand to this day. It was during this expansion that the fundamental forces and particles that govern the cosmos came into existence, but is it perfect? 
Did the Big Bang happen inside space or was the Big Bang the beginning of space itself? Where did it happen and how did it happen? Why did it happen in the first place? You see the Big Bang theory gives us a remarkable glimpse into the birth of our universe. But there are still many unanswered questions. We may have an idea of what happened after the Big Bang. But what happened before the Big Bang is where we are left hanging. How could all matter, energy, space and time be packed into a point of infinite density and temperature? It boggles the mind. Strangely enough some cosmologists entertain the idea that a previous incarnation of emptiness, a cold, dark and empty universe similar to the one awaiting us in the distant future, could have been the source of our very own Big Bang. This may sound confusing, but let us explain what we mean. First off, I want us to look at how the concept of material or physical matter came into existence. When we consider the origins of stable matter composed of atoms or molecules, it becomes clear that such matter did not exist during the initial stages of the Big Bang, nor for hundreds of thousands of years thereafter. The early universe was a hot and dense environment, filled with highly energetic particles that prevented the formation of complex matter. However, as the universe expanded and cooled over time, conditions became favorable for the formation of the first atoms. This process known as nucleosynthesis allowed simpler particles to combine and create stable atoms such as hydrogen and helium. But this understanding doesn't address the question of whether something came from nothing. Going further back in time around one ten thousandth of a second after the Big Bang, the first long-lived matter particles namely protons and neutrons emerged these particles form the building blocks of atomic nuclei. Prior to this crucial moment, there wasn't any material as we commonly understand it, but physics lets us keep on tracing the timeline backward to physical processes which predate any stable matter. This brings us to the fascinating era known as the Grand Unified Epoch. At this stage we delve into the realm of speculative physics, since our current experiments cannot generate enough energy to directly observe the processes that occurred during that time. Nonetheless, there is a plausible hypothesis that the physical world consists of a swirling mixture of short-lived elementary particles, including quarks, which are the fundamental constituents of protons and neutrons. During this epoch, there existed both matter and its antimatter counterpart in roughly equal amounts transforming into pure energy as a result, these particles were constantly being created and destroyed, and somehow, this was the part which still brings curiosity, and after that also, there was progress with this theory. If you are liking this video, then do tell us in the comments, so that we will bring next part of this video for you. Until then, thank you for watching this video, until the end, and subscribe to our channel for more similar videos like these.